I still remember the day I stumbled upon the mirror. It was an antique piece, ornately framed with delicate engravings. The glass had a peculiar shine to it, as if it held secrets within its depths. Little did I know that unlocking those secrets would unleash a nightmare beyond my wildest imagination. The mirror came into my possession at a local estate sale. The previous owner had passed away under mysterious circumstances, and the mirror was one of the few remaining items up for grabs. Intrigued by its eerie allure, I couldn't resist taking it home. From the moment I hung the mirror on my wall, strange things began to happen. Late at night, as I lay in bed, I could hear faint whispers echoing through the room. At first, I dismissed them as figments of my imagination, but they grew louder with each passing night. One evening, as I stood before the mirror, the whispers became more distinct. It was as if the voices were trying to communicate, their words a haunting symphony of despair. I leaned closer, my breath fogging the glass, and whispered, Who are you? To my astonishment, a voice answered, soft and laden with sorrow. We are the forgotten souls trapped within this mirror. We yearn for release, for a chance to escape the eternal torment. Chills raced down my spine, but curiosity outweighed my fear. I asked, How can I help you? The voice spoke again. Perform the ritual of the lost, recite the incantation and shatter the mirror. Only then can our souls find solace. Compelled by a mix of fascination and dread, I embarked on a quest to uncover the truth. I researched ancient rituals, deciphered cryptic texts, and consulted with occult experts. Finally, armed with the knowledge I needed, I prepared to perform the ritual. On the stroke of midnight I stood before the mirror, candles flickering in the dimly lit room. Trembling I chanted the incantation, the words vibrating with power. With each verse the mirror shimmered, its surface rippling like water. The whispers grew louder, their urgency palpable. As I reached the final line of the incantation, I raised a hammer ready to shatter the mirror. But before I could strike, a gust of wind extinguished the candles, plunging the room into darkness. The whispers turned into anguished screams, echoing through the air like a chorus of tortured souls. Fear gripped my heart as unseen hands grabbed at me, pulling me towards the mirror. I fought against the relentless force, but it was as if the room itself had come alive, determined to claim me. Desperate, I screamed the final words of the incantation, willing the mirror to break. In a blinding flash of light, the mirror shattered into a thousand shards, scattering across the floor. The room fell silent, the screams silenced, and the whispers extinguished. But the relief I expected never came. Instead, an eerie stillness settled upon the shattered remains. The fragments of the mirror seemed to writhe and twist, as if they held a malevolent energy. I realized too late that the ritual had not set the trapped souls free. It had unleashed something far more sinister. Night after night I became tormented by haunting visions and terrifying encounters. Shadows danced at the corner of my vision, sinister figures lurking in the darkness. The whispers returned, mocking and taunting, their voices dripping with malice. I sought help from experts, but none could offer a solution. The shattered mirror had become a portal for unspeakable horrors, and I was trapped within its clutches. I had unwittingly become a prisoner in my own home, tormented by the very souls I had tried to save. Now, as I pen down my tale, I hope that someone will find this warning and heed it. Beware the power of mirrors, for they reflect not only the world we see, but also the darkness that lies beyond. Should you encounter a whispering mirror, resist its allure, for the price of unlocking its secrets may be more than you can bear.